Joining us for Met Report Sports is Peter Aragon at the desk. Peter, what's going on with Metro Sports? Well, there's a lot. You got softball and baseball starting up, but right now we're focusing on the men's and women's basketball team. We only have a few more games till the RMAC tournament. The men's team have struggled as of late. Three weeks ago, they went to the Western Slope and lost both games. And then they came home and lost one of two at the Rary Event Center. They had another two home games set this past weekend and looked to turn things around. First game was against Chattern State, who is fighting for the RMAC playoff lives. This game had gone back and forth throughout. We pick it up second half, Metro up 46-42. Jefferson off the screen for Morris, hits the three, his 103 pointer of his career at Metro. Metro would extend her lead all the way to 52 to 43. Shattern would come back to tie the game off that Myola tattoo, a hard fought lane. Now under a minute to go, Metro down one. They need a buck and Jefferson misses the lane. Metro needs a foul and they were right there. K was practically hugging the guy. No foul called though, and Chris Curtis has a breakaway two-hand slam. Metro down three, Evans bringing it up, gets it over to Miller, who puts up the three, misses, but he got fouled. Costly mistake by Shadron, and Miller goes to the line with a chance to tie the game. Miller makes the first, and the second one would go in as well. And we're looking for the third one to go in, but it hits off back iron, and Metro loses a close one, 64-65. It didn't come down to those final moments where we really lost momentum in the game. It was about the 8.48 mark. We were up nine points, and, you know, we stopped defending and rebounding, and that's why that game got tight at the end. The next night, Metro would bounce back against Nebraska Kearney, winning by a final score of 83-73. to The women's team also was coming off a weekend where they won one and lost one. They would get back on track the first night, defeating Shadron State 55-51. to and a big congrats goes out to Tanya Javi, who got her 50th career win at Metro off that game. The next night, Metro took on Nebraska Kearney for the last time as Armac rivals, and Metro must have been mad at Kearney for leaving the conference because this one wasn't even close. The rest of the way, Metro will be playing teams still fighting for a playoff spot in the Armac shootout. Nebraska Kearney was only two games out of the final A spot, but Metro quickly shut the door on the Lopers. First, Kaylee Dow quick with her move before the double team and goes over the smaller Loper defender for two. Then the sisters get in on the action as Kristen Valencia finds Brandy Valencia open for three and that ball finds the bottom of the net. Metro opened up the game going on a 21-4 run. Metro had the defense stifling the Lopers by holding them to just 33% shooting on the night. Ten different roadrunners scored in the game. Desiree Collins fights off the Lopers for the rebound and two points. The freshman Janessa Burke led the Roadrunners with 12 points, and Metro goes on to win this one 79 to 44. Coach Javi talked after about how to keep her team motivated. So we talk about what we're what it is that we're playing for, and what we're playing for are, are to get host a regional or to win a championship. And you're not gonna you're not gonna win an RMAC championship if you lose to some games like that. So really keeping the focus on us and having pride in what we do, what every individual does and what we do as a team. Metro got some help last week when UCCS beat Fort Lewis 84-78. Metro now holds a half game lead over the Skyhawks for first place in the RMAC. Both the men's and women's team now go down to New Mexico for two road games. Well, from the hardwood to the softball field, our softball team didn't do well in their trip out west to Cali where they lost four out of five. They looked to change their luck in, the, in Vegas at the Desert Stinger Tournament. Their luck, however, didn't change to the last day of the tournament, losing the first four games. On Sunday, Metro got the long ball going, though, late. The team was down 10-8, heading into the bottom of the seventh. Aubrey Mall led off with a home run. The next batter, Chelsea Brew, then connected on another ball for the back-to-back -back home runs. Later in that inning, Sam Talmich would score on the wild pitch. For the winning run, Metro wins 11-10. And tomorrow, the softball team will be taking on some of the alumni from past teams on Auraria Field at 12. It seems like there's been a lot going on in, in Metro sports, and we wish to our teams the best of luck. Yep, so make sure you uh, stay with Met Report Sports and check out Go Metro State for any information on the sports teams. Awesome. Thanks, Peter.